I'm Phil Davis. I'm a children's chest doctor, and I look after children who have problems with breathing at night time. Together, we're going to show everybody what happens when a child needs to start on non-invasive mask ventilation. So why would anyone need a breathing mask at night? Well, some children do have problems with their breathing at night time. And so if that happens, if we're worried about that, we organise for them to have a detailed sleep study. And if that shows that there is, in fact, a real problem there, then for some children, we think that they may be helped by having a special breathing mask and ventilator to help them breathe properly at night time. Does the breathing mask hurt the children or No, it doesn't hurt, but it does feel a bit strange. Uh, it feels a bit odd because, first of all, going to sleep with a mask on your face is a bit odd. This is the mask itself, which the child puts on their face, and there's lots of different types of mask which we fit to make sure it's the right size for the child and, and which one they find most comfortable. The mask has air blowing into it, oh. and it blows in through this long tubing, which goes round and goes all the way there to the ventilator. Most children cope well with just coming to try and start on the mask ventilator, but some children found it more difficult. Oh. And for those children, we will often ask our psychologist, Louise, to have a chat with the child and with their family. Would you like to meet Louise? Yes, please. OK. Hi, Sophie. Hi, I'm Louise. I'm a clinical psychologist. Um, I work with the respiratory team, and I help them when young people need to wear their NIV mask, their breathing mask. Um, do all children worry or is it just small children? I think all children worry when they're trying new things. So sometimes we can come up with some ideas to help them, like using pictures, social stories, reward charts, um, and that's for young children, for older children, and also children with learning difficulties or disabilities. It can sometimes be helpful if I come and see you getting your mask fitted. Um, do you want me to come along? Yes, please. introduce myself. I'm Andrew, one of the sleep team. I'm going to take you through how we pick a mask and use the, the machine to help your breathing overnight. So first of all, before we can do anything, I need to ask you, what do you do when you sleep? Do you breathe through your nose at night time or is it through your mouth? Um, I'm not sure. sure. What about you, Mum? What do we normally do? I think you might breathe more through your mouth. Through your mouth, right. So that's important because if we put a mask on and it's blowing air up your nose and your mouth's open, the air comes straight back out your mouth and doesn't go down to your lungs and help with your breathing. So the plan is we'll try and find a mask that does your nose and your mouth together to allow us to get that to be comfortable. So I need to size your nose and mouth first of all to make sure I get the right mask. So if it's okay, I'm going to pop this next to your face. That's not right. So it just tells me which size to pick. So we just line it up here. Okay. An extra small, that's fine. So I've got one of them here with me. Two seconds. Let's have a look. So, what we're going to do now is try and pop this mask on and see what it feels okay. like with the machine blowing in the mask. Mm -hmm. Don't be worried if it feels a wee bit strange. Most of the boys and girls think it's a bit odd to begin with, but okay. we normally practice to get the hang of it. Okay. okay. So, I'll pop it on your nose first. Now don't be surprised if it feels a wee bit funny to begin with, okay? Here we go. Good. I just need to gently breathe in and out, so pull back out, that's it, good. In and out. Not too fast, that's excellent. You're getting the hang of it. Good. Okay, don't worry about that. Sometimes happens. What's probably happening there is I'm not holding it tight enough because I'm always a bit cautious. Okay. So that noise is just a mask. Wow. Okay. What did you think of that? Um, it felt weird, but it got better as it, uh, okay. as it went along. So it's quite so... hard to start with, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so why don't we get the head gear then and we can attach that to your head as well, and that way okay. I'm not holding it. Alrighty. I'm going to press code. Don't remember it's going to blow a wee bit to start with. It'll feel a bit strange. Here we go. Now remember, this time try not to do such big breaths, just little breaths. I know the temptation is to take <gasps> huge breaths, but just little ones. Well done, Sophie. This is excellent. Just a wee bit slower if you can. You go really fast. That's it, in and out. Okay, Mum, so what we're trying to do now is try and get it just to wear it for a wee bit longer, because obviously having it on and off and on and off is not quite the same as having it on for the whole night. So hopefully, even if it's for 10, 15 minutes of playing, to get used to that sensation, that'll be helpful. And then what we'll do is work out what we can do for the night. So hopefully she'll fall asleep. And if she does, it, it might be that's all she can cope with, or it might be we can start to kind of 
tweak the pressure to more what we think will be the one that's beneficial for it. So what do you do if a child finds it really difficult to wear the mask at night? It's a good question. It's, it's not uncommon for them to find it tricky, particularly at the start, just because it's a strange sensation and trying to wear it all night. And obviously you're very keen for them as the parent to wear it. What we found is if there's an invested parent, then we do much better. So if you're trying to make sure this process works, then you have much more chance of it being successful. So just keep encouraging them, keep emphasising that they'll feel the benefit and hopefully you'll start to see more and more time overnight on the machine. Okay, thank you very much. No problem. Okay, Sophie, do you have any other questions? No, and thank you for showing me how to use the reading mask.